On the ground with 6 a.m. What's good on life? This is your girl 6 a.m. We live at the BET Cypher with Muchini. Muchini, what's good? I'm nice, I'm nice, I'm nice. Hey, hey, you're a little bit of a mo. It's your boy Muchini inside. I'm nice, I'm nice. I'm nice. Muchini, can you tell us about your experience holding it down at the BET Cypher? You just killed it. Can you tell us about how that felt like? Well, thank you so much for that. I actually didn't get enough time to, you know, get my things in order and all that. But, you know, when you got it, you got it. I, I actually feel like I'm in, I'm in a good space right now. And I actually feel like, you know, everything is just, you know, working together to just make sure that this whole thing works out. It was an amazing experience seeing the reaction and all that. It was, it was actually crazy. I'm so glad to be a part of this. That's so dope. That's so dope. And PH... Um placed you on his producer curated you know set can you tell us about that especially because ph is quite picky you know and you ended up on there can you tell us how special that felt for you it actually feels really cool because it shows the impact of what we're doing right we actually feel like yo we work in the ground we're doing the groundwork but you know seeing you know receiving a call from ph is an icon receiving a call from him saying that yo Ronamela beat the Ebian and stuff. It actually hit home on some, you know, I have a good relationship with Cooley and all that. So, uh, you know, having him give me an opportunity to just do my work on, you know, and a classic iconic Cooley Chana beat was actually super fire. So I really appreciate PH for that, for the hit up. Dope, dope. And, um, you know, he actually refers to you as the next Cooley Chana, the next double HP. I see you smiling right now. How does that make you feel? It actually feels dope because. Those are the people who paved the way, who paved the way for us. You know, the the commercial appeal, yeah, double HP and Kulichana is insane. It's actually really crazy because they actually rep rep, but they have you know high commercial appeal, and you know that's what we're working towards. So, you know, having and it's not just him. You know, having you know people from Kasi looking at me and seeing me as one of those big guys and stuff. It means that you know I actually need to be consistent with what I do. I actually need to put in more work. As much as I feel like yo, I'm giving it my all. I actually need to push myself further, further to just make sure that this whole thing works out. That's dope. And speaking about Kasi, you rep your hometown quite often through your music. Can you tell us about the influence that Bitori has on you as an artist and on your music? And, you know, with, 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 I think that's a dope question because with where we come from, we don't, we don't get a lot of that, right? Um, or now when we came up, we didn't have someone saying, Bob, and this is what we're doing. I'm trying to take this story to the world and stuff. You know what it does? It actually, because I'm seeing, you know, young kids now pulling up bandana from high school and stuff. And you can actually see that, yo, this impact is real. This thing is raw. And then by they seeing that this dream is possible, this um, dream is possible, lo achieve and stuff. And so, on. so for me, it actually really hits, hits home. And I'm, I'm so glad that it, if it, it's overflowing onto the young ones that are coming back on one it's actually possible for me to chase dreamy ecolorian and stuff and they can actually see that oh how possible or achieve as well that's amazing what an inspiration and speaking about that um music copitori you know whether it was south african hip-hop or ama piano it wasn't the center of um south african music like it is now can you tell us how it was for you growing up and your musical influ your musical influences at the time yeah. you know uh, you know we, we 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 had to and you know times have changed so 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 bad it's crazy we had to look up to the people who are like most patients our tv radio and all that right but with us right now we're actually doing the groundwork as as i was saying we we were looking up to what double hp bokuli chana bo aka bo cares when they first came in and stuff and so our bo ko bo like those old groups bo, 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 it's our cash time and all that so it, they it, it felt like bokuli loro Right, it actually felt like Bago Kula Lorona, but right now having Pitori being the center of attention, everyone from Pitori actually or one or Ejo, or everyone from everywhere can actually tell her Ejo. Did then if we actually grind it and work it, I think now the one thing that you need to know, Kuhore, the reason why Ilimo Ilimo thing is because we the influencer Nalona comes from the fact that we're trying to remain original, re enhance identity arona and I embrace on so on. So the stories are really long. It's a copy story. Everything are long. I know what you're copy story. All these stories, you know, they're writing, they're experiencing their own. So hence, but we're really that we're not easily. It's not abstract. It's actually real life. It's about that we're talking about on these songs. So I think being original and sticking to, uh, to that is what gives everything are long. I know believability and then if I let that then because in a relatability, I would as well. Being original makes you relatable. That's amazing. 
Very inspiring. And now let's talk about you. You know, who is Muchini? Can you talk? Can you take us through your name? You know, how you came about that name and who you are, just as an artist, yeah. what you represent. Yeah. Um, Muchini is just a, a cool young boy from Le Popo. Um, you know, smartest in every class that I've been in. And I was able to convert from science. I was doing science in varsity. I was able to convert from science to rap. Um, the name Muchini comes basically from high school when I was able to do every to master everything that I actually put my mind to. Um, I've I've always been a perfectionist, right? So with me, it's always been that thing. I heard Ejo Okona Wang Huira. Everything every year, I'm come Konya go year. I'm telling like I'm cool. I used to dance way back in high school, which is crazy. So. And when someone else was like, hey, and like, why change? I change everything you hear and like why oh, master like I'm a perfectionist, like I was saying. So that's how the name came about. And you know, I've always been about telling these stories because growing up, you wouldn't find me chilling with my peers. I've, I, I was always chilling. Like they always like my eight, nine years. I'm game. This is what we're doing. This is how I grew up. This is more young when you want this and that and stuff. So I I I, I automatically became a storyteller from that because I was learning from the stories about Wawang and the lady experiences about Wawang. So hence, more music in Wawang. Like, there's a lot of storytelling and I'm telling original stories. So yeah, that's... Kikam koge katarang we craft agatin to just keep it original but to tell some story. Again, on relatability and originality. We love that. We love authenticity. And when it comes to um, your, re your recent feature with words, you know, how did you end up on Barker Haynes? Can you tell us about that? Um, so... I've known words for some time. Okay, we, we all know words. We've all known words since Matadia Bonabo, Wrecking Crew and all that, right? And when I started pushing my stuff, when my name started like spreading around Mokasi and stuff, we started following each other more social media and all that. He started seeing my stuff and he started, you know, pursuing me and stuff. Kastail is a high mar. And we actually met for the first time when we were shooting Le Panda with g -Tag and Foka. And we like, we chopped it up and stuff. And we, we could feel each other's energy. He's a cool, he's a cool dude and stuff. And we felt each other's energies and we're like, hey Joe, we need to work on something. But we always say that when we meet other artists on some, hey Joe, we need to work on something. I had cool. Sometime in I think two, three months in Yanafeta, has no feta. He actually hit me up on some, hey boy, I have something, right? I'm trying to complete my tape and I have to submit this on Monday. So he hit me up on a Friday evening. I remember I had shows Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm like, Ish, this bro wants to finish his tape and all that. And I have to do this, but I can't get time because I have shows to go to. I had interviews, I had video shoots and all that. It was a busy, one of those busy weekends. Um, he sent it on Friday. I couldn't write on Friday, I couldn't write on Saturday. I started writing Sunday in the morning, like four bars, and then I finished it. Those lines that were fell long, uh, I actually didn't write them down. I, it was like the final moment goes to you on some, yo, dog, I need to finish this part off. And it landed quite well with the people and stuff. It's it's actually crazy. People are saying verse of the air, and I agree, dog. I agree, dog. I agree. <laughs> and um, also, you appeared on Tyson's project. Yeah. Um, can you tell us about that collaboration? So Tyson and I, we've been we've been close for quite some time, right? We've been talking for quite some time, and Leah and it's always been that thing. Yo, dog, we need to work. He actually hit me up some time ago on some. I love what you guys are doing with the movement. Dago Pitori, you guys are moving together with Pounds, G Tech, and them and stuff. And so, so what I want to do right now is I want to be a part of what you guys are doing for Pitori and stuff. Because we figured the only way for this thing or last day, why are we celebrating 50 years of hip hop? The only way for this thing to outlast that is if we actually move and stick together. You know, we Rebona got the piano bros, those are our brothers and stuff. But the way that we're moving, we can actually see that, yo, Joe, if we adapt that then Luna, uh, it's actually gonna help us. And we started that movement and all that. And Tyson hit me up on some. I want to be a part of that. I was like, I chilled. Let's link up and stuff and talk now and see what we can do. And before we could even do that, he actually sent me something. And I hopped on it. Within an hour, I sent it back. And it happened to be one of the best songs in the, you know, from personally, I feel like it's one of the best songs. I actually love the other one with Nanette on it. But yeah, it's, it's one of those ones. Shout out the power of collaboration. Shout out to you and shout out to hip hop. Thank you so much, Machini. Thank you so much for having me. Enjoy your sleek on life. Why is out daily? We go start thing inside. One love. One love. Thank you so much. On the ground with 6 a.m.